Hey, this is Chris. I'm getting ready to start on my next project, which is which is the shed outside. Um, the superstructure of it is made from old warehouse shelving, the really heavy duty stuff. And I managed to get that mounted. I mounted that on some four by fours, just basically laying on the ground. And you no, know, I drove some stakes into the ground. And, and put the 4x4 four four on top of those, some treated stakes, of course, and laid that on top of it, and then built the superstructure on top of that. And so it's, it's like 8 feet wide by 10 feet tall by 12 feet long. So it's a nice space. Uh, put it up about 8 years ago. Didn't really do much to weather proof it or weather tight it. It was really just a place to put the mower, you know, outdoor tools and so on. Didn't really care. Um, and of course, that lack of caring then is showing now that the, uh, the plywood that I put up is rotting away. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip all that stuff off and put a new plywood shell on it. And then, but this time, I'm going to um, seal it really well and you know, caulk it up and do it right. So it's a nice water type or weather tight space. Doesn't have any windows in it. Probably will not have any windows in it. Might run some power out there for a light or something, but that, that's going to be about it. It's going to be pretty simple. It's really just to get stuff out of the house. We've got, with my mother-in-law coming and going, we've moved stuff into the house, we've moved stuff out of the house, and now we're at the point where, you know, there's stuff that just can't, like Christmas stuff and things of that nature that, you know, there's things we want to do inside the house, and we can't do that because there's no room in the rooms that we have designated to do stuff in. Like, Lee has her little room to do her thing in, which is our old bedroom. And I have Christopher's old bedroom to do my computer work in, and both are just cluttered with a bunch of stuff that if we had a space to put them in, we could get, we could get it out of there. And both those spaces would be so much more useful. So that's, that's the plan, is to get everything out of the house that does not need to be in the house. And yet, we, it has, it's the stuff that we don't just want to throw away. Because we have thrown away a lot of stuff in the last three months, but we're down to the nitty gritty now. We can't really. There's nothing else. I mean, everything else I could see a potential use for, or that we do use it, but we just don't use it on a regular basis. So we're going to get that done. So I am going over to uh, Builders Discount and Lowe's and Henderson. We see what they have for wood. See how much it is. I've got some plywood. And so I think I almost have enough, but I just want to see how much that is. And then I'm also going to be looking at wood for the exterior of the house. Uh, I'm going, I want to go with some kind of wood siding. I know it's going to be a little extra work to seal it and get it so, you know, it's going to last. But, you know, I just, I just can't really roll with, I don't like regular siding. I want to use tongue and groove, or I want to use some kind of shiplap siding. Even if I have to make the shiplap out of regular 1x6s, that's what I'm going to do. And and so, uh, yeah, because I just don't like vinyl, and I don't really like regular siding. And, mainly, and of course, the big thing is, this this siding is going to be part of the structure of the house. I mean, it's, it's going to provide extra rigidity. I mean, that's my whole point. I've got siding on the inside that I face screwed, and if you've seen any of those videos, you know what I'm talking about. And, you know, it makes for a much stronger and stiffer structure, and that's what I'm after. Because I really, and I really want it to look like, you know, it's a, it's a single wide mobile home, but I want it to, but I want it to look more like a real house, uh, which is why we're going to put a roof on it. I mean, it's going to look nice when it's all done, but hey, you got to start somewhere, and the shed is the place, is the place to start, so that's where we're going to start. And we'll just roll through everything else as we can do it. But the first phase, of course, is to get the shed done so that we can get stuff out of the house. And so I think I just... No, I didn't. Maybe I did. No, I didn't. See, I was talking and I'm missing... No, it's the next intersection. It's the next exit. So anyway, that's my plans for the day. Hope you have some good plans for the day. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. We, well, that's about it for now. I was thinking there's something else to happen. No, not really. So, if you have any questions or comments, if you have experience with exterior tongue and groove wood siding or exterior shiplap siding made out of pine, I'd love to hear what you did to make it both look good and last, give it some wearability. And if you want to, you can like and subscribe. 
we will get to some videos on this topic. I'll probably make a playlist uh, as, as I commence the work. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. We'll see you on the next one.